here I am at Riley's house. I'm going to be planting some tomatoes. This is the, uh, is this the raised bed? Well, I had two raised beds in here, but they were starting to fall apart. So this one was still in good shape and I'm going to keep it for compost. Mm -hmm. But um, I tore down the other two and I just kind of leveled it out since there was already this concrete ring in here. So I'm going to just turn this whole area into a garden and I've got some cleanup to do from the little bit of junk that was in there but this is going to be the garden and now. here's two of the tomatoes we picked out so far and you said you were going to try to plant some I think when you were talking to your neighbor you're going to you wanted to plant berries uh, I do want to do a blueberry shrub somewhere I'm not exactly sure where and then I do want to do some oh. peppers also. I see a worm trying yeah, to Yeah, I see all that worm. You might want to stay in there, buddy. It's going to be dry out. Yep. So, yeah, I want to do some peppers as well. I'm just not exactly sure where I want to put those. Maybe... Yep. Because you and your little one, your little one, you both like peppers. We like peppers and we like tomatoes, both of us. I mean, I'll eat a tomato on a sandwich or salad or something like that. I just, I don't like to eat them raw. Do you want me to dig them in or did you want... So Matt's going ahead and digging it in. We don't need anything super, super deep, just deep enough to get the uh, tomato at ground level. Uh, let's see here. Go ahead and dig about deep enough to where the shovel goes most of the way in. Now I haven't done a whole lot of digging in this bed yet, so it might be a little tough down towards the bottom but it won't hurt anything. And that should be a decent hole. And then all we really gotta do is pop the roots out of the container. Okay. That should be pretty decent. So now, uh, I'll let you go ahead and- Do I just pull it out? Yeah, gently kinda work it out. Can and you just kind of there we go so then one of the good things that you can do with roots is kind of fray these up a little bit when you go to plant because what happens like this is they continue to grow in a rounded uh, kind of a round way and they can get root rot not root rot but they can get root bound in the ground even so just kind of fraying those up a little bit does a pretty good job and it lets the roots grow down. So, oh, it's not going over. So then, yep, that should be pretty good. Okay, now just put it in there? Yep, and then just kind of put it in and we'll want to keep it a little bit. Let's see, kind of put some in and then I will adjust it up a little bit to try to keep it about level with the ground. And I'll definitely need to get some water on this. But then you don't want it to be too low below ground. But something like that should work okay. And then I can adjust it, we'll water it in. Mm -hmm. We'll definitely want to make sure we keep it nice and wet. So that'll be one of our tomatoes. And that one is going to be, I'll need to take that back. And that one will be a one Matt picked out called a German Johnson, an heirloom tomato. So these should be able to keep the seeds from and they should continue to grow. Some huh. of the, some of the um, hybrid varieties don't regrow. Let, regrow. Yeah, but these heirloom tomatoes and heirloom seeds will typically let you regrow from seed. Cool. So, yeah. This is, oh, this is what we got so far done here. So now I'll put my cage on as a support. So that as they start. These are like a cherry tomato, right? Yeah, these are a cherry tomato. These are one I've never had before. These are a Candyland cherry tomato. So they're supposed to be a really sweet variety. And those are really awesome for snacking. You know, you come out. Ah, you when okay? I, when I mow the grass or something, and I grab a couple off and snack on them. I like doing that. So these supports should go here. And I'll probably 
prune off some of the stuff at the very, very bottom because the stuff at the bottom doesn't get as much sun and it's unnecessary. So if you trim kind of the bottom down and let the tops here, you'll get a nice full plant without the extra waste at the bottom. So this, as it grows, I'll just kind of keep working it up through here. And after this, we'll just need some water and we've got two in the tree.